and welcome to Ecanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot that uh, AdBlue remaining starts or AdBlue remaining uh, X amount of miles or engine start not possible error message. First, I'm going to talk about three common problems, and then next, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot it and reset these error messages. So, the, th the three most common problems are AdBlue level is low, or you're using an AdBlue. Uh, also called DEF uh, fluid. Most places are, if you go to a store, you're gonna say uh, buy DEF fluid. Uh, AdBlue is just a Mercedes term uh, for that. But uh, using a low quality or something that's maybe sitting for a really long time, and then using that, you put it in the system, and the, the even though AdBlue level is full, it's not being recognized, the car is seeing an issue with that. So that's the first problem. Uh, so check the level of AdBlue, add AdBlue, and add good quality AdBlue. Now, even though you might add that, sometimes if the the remaining starts is too low or it has gone to no start not possible, it's not going to reset on its own. You're gonna have to use a scanner. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, the other thing is that the system, the AdBlue system, might have detected a problem. A common problem with these is the AdBlue tank inside has a heating element that heats up, prevents the AdBlue from freezing in the winter time. So that element goes bad. So if that's the case and that's why you're seeing that and you know your AdBlue level is full and you used good AdBlue then that could be the problem and you would have to fix it and once you fix it that scanner will tell you like that's your, your heating AdBlue heating element open circuit so it will actually tell you what's wrong and then once you replace it you can clear the codes to reset that uh, the third problem it could be a combination of NOx uh, sensors NOx sensors uh, or the AdBlue control module sometimes can be defective itself. So the AdBlue control module failing is less common, but it is possible. Uh, if you're using the scanner to go to um, AdBlue control unit and you get no communication, well, you know that there is a problem with that module and it needs to, might not be getting power, you wanna check the fuse for it and so on. So let's take a look at how to use the Ucanic scanner to troubleshoot it and then reset and here we're down to remaining starts one after that the car is no longer going to start and it's just going to say engine start not possible so once you plug in the obd2 scanner under the obd2 port which is under your dash turn on the ignition and turn on your scanner okay go to diagnostics And then here you want to scroll down to Mercedes Smart VIN. Now this procedure uh, is the same for um, all Mercedes definitely, but other makes and models is going to be similar as well, as long as they're a diesel engine. This doesn't apply to gasolines, uh, they don't have an AdBlue system. And then what we can do is we can do a quick scan. If you're not sure which control you need to look at, just run a quick scan. Give it a couple minutes it'll go through every control unit and then you're going to have a list of the fault codes which is what we're doing here as you can see it's going through every single control unit that's on this car every computer that's here that's controlling different things we're up at 30 this car sometimes have 60 70. Um, so hey, let's give it a couple more minutes and then we'll take a look at the ones that have fault codes and what could be causing that um at blue uh, issue there remaining starts or your at blue where it says um, engine start not possible or X amount of miles remaining things of that nature uh, it, it's that means that it's going to be a full code in at least a couple of modules here uh, so when you do a quick scan so our scan here is almost complete yep uh, it is done and then here's a couple things you could do you can click this little arrow and then it, it shows you the fault codes you can enter that control unit you can clear those codes you can hit a race down here a race all races all the codes especially their old codes if they're current issues you want to erase them but what I like to do is you can also save this report but hit report down at the bottom scroll down here 
towards the bottom of this and this actually gives us a list of all the codes and we can kind of connect the dots you you want to do this because uh when there's an issue you usually have full codes in more than one uh places so engine electronics you can see the fill level of the ad blue tank is too low the ad blue uh, fill level is too low the frequency counter possible engine start is active so that's why we have that on and it's telling the level is too low now this is hopefully that's going to be your case is just the level is low and there's no other issue but sometimes you might have other problems like i said earlier you might have like a common one is the ad blue tank has a heating element that can fail and here you would see a full code like um ad blue heating element open circuit or something along those lines um there's some other codes in here it don't have to do with uh the ad blue so if you keep scrolling a lot of these codes are just stored old fold codes we're just looking at anything else that could be related to the ad blue that's the only one that we have uh, and a bunch of storage. So all these store codes are going to clear. This uh, rain sensor uh, malfunction, that's not going to clear. as a, It needs to be fixed, addressed. So let's uh, go ahead, add some add blue, and come back in here to clear these codes and reset that uh, remaining starts that we have that on the cluster. So right here to next to the diesel, cap you have the add the blue cap that's the add blue uh, this is on a GL sometimes on these cars it could the add blue could be uh, accessed through the trunk uh, especially some other car models like Audis and stuff but you want to add add blue to that and that's what we're doing so now we will finish adding add blue we go ahead and put the cap back on until you hear that click okay so let's go and clear those codes and as you can see here, even though we added that blue, that remaining stars, it's not clearing on its own. Okay. You can see that. It's still staying one, but it, the error message is still there. So we're going to have to use the scanner to reset that. So back at our scanner, what you're going to do is select engine, CDI, engine, electronic, select that. You can do a lot of things here. You can do tests. You can look at live data. You can activate things and so on uh, as far as our engine is related. But what we want to do is we want to hit clear codes. Let's go read them one more time really quick. We should see the same codes that we saw earlier. Yep. Add blue level too low. Then hit clear codes. Hit yes. Now, in this case, the problem was very simple. Add blue level was too low. And that's what the full codes that's where the error message came up but in some cases if let's say uh if your uh, ad blue heating element was defective or one of the sensors is faulty you're gonna have to fix that because over here when you read codes now we don't have any full codes anymore but when you read codes you're gonna it will, it's gonna say current so until you fix that issue you won't be able to clear those codes and reset your error message but in this case we should be good so if we come, turn the engine off, turn it back on, start it, and no more remaining starts error message in there. And that's all. That's pretty simple. Hopefully this video was helpful. This scanner doesn't work on just Mercedes, works on all makes and models. Uh, you can do everything from uh, reading, clearing codes, live data, active tests. You can do a, a bunch, like 40 uh, more than... Uh, 40 maintenance functions more than a lot of other scanners out there and it has no subscription so it might be worth it uh, getting one of these just go to youcanic.com uh, that's where you can get it thank you for watching youcanic where you can be the mechanic